Hey guys, Ryan the Nerd here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tyrannosaurus uh, imaginary, uh, imaginary Skeleton from Bandai. This is another model kit, um, so yeah, um, really awesome model kit. I think this is probably a really awesome model kit from Bandai. Um, if you're wondering why it's called the Imaginary Skeleton, is because, fun fact, no T-Rex skeleton uh, in the entire world is actually fully complete. That's right, probably just blown your mind there. So that's why it's called Imaginary, because it has all the actual bones that a T-Rex would have. Um, so yeah, uh, got some really tidbits there, it's very awesome. This is a model kit, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I probably already said that, but, you know, saying it again, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah. Uh, my dad bought this, uh, he built it, but he hasn't painted it yet because he's building something else, uh, right now. And we also have a new dog, so, whatever. Um, so that's just the box. Uh, let's take a look at the booklets here. This is the instructions, and this is just, you know, some random, uh, well, not random, but really nice, like, um, really tidbits, um, so, it's, it's uh, mostly in Japanese, but they do have English translation, so that's good. Um, and then it tells you about all the uh, different bones, too, as well. That's awesome. Um, really awesome. Skull replica there, so very awesome. Um, get a little read-up there if you want. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, really awesome. This is not, this is, he hasn't painted this yet, by the way. I probably mentioned that already, but this is not painted. Um, but, you know, it looks perfectly fine without painted, uh, without paint on it. But, it, uh, he, I'll probably post a picture of it when it's fully painted. So, let's take a look at it. So, here it is. If you guys remember that T-Rex diorama model kit, uh, that I did a review on a long time ago. Um, he, this one is about the, um, same height, but as you can see, he has a very long tail, and, uh, you're probably gonna need a lot of shelf space for that. Um, so yeah. And my dad was like, why is he in a jumping pose? And I was like, I don't know, it's a diorama. I mean, t it's gotta have a cool pose for a diorama. T-Rexes wouldn't actually jump on their prey, um... That I'm a dinosaur nerd, so if I start talking about T-Rex and any dinosaur, I, I'll, I'll, you'll be stuck with me for two hours, probably. Um, and as you can see, it's not painted, but it looks really, really awesome without even the paint on it. Very accurate. I have seen a T-Rex skeleton before, and I really do like how this looks. Um, got the different bones and all that stuff. Here's the stand, or the base, I just say. The stand is clear, um, but the base has, like, you know, some prehistoric stuff on there. It's not painted, but you can see some foot footsteps in there. So that's awesome. Um, another turnaround. Um, this, uh, this is, this is a lovely detailed model kit. Like, it's really detailed. Um, especially the skull. The skull is probably the, up uh, the, the best part of the entire thing. I can't keep my eyes off of it. It looks really well. Um, so I could probably try to lift it up so you can see underneath the skull there and you can see some of the teeth in there so that's awesome and the tail's very long so it's got that nice s curve there to it um very awesome we got the uh the newly well not newly uh but it's pretty recent recently discovered that t-rex actually have these uh stomach muscle uh bones rib cage so that's awesome um we got the feet there and I like how they're kind of, you know, in a different pose than the last one. So that's awesome. You can see from the front. Let me try to... S there you go. That's what it looks like from the front if you won't stop wobbling. Um, and the stand does, in fact, move. So you can actually move um, the thing. So if you want him like that or like that or straight, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, really nice detail on the base itself. Got some plants. Got some foots. Footsteps, footprints, I should say. Uh, very awesome. But, you know, it really just looks really well without painted. You can go ahead and paint this you, uh, this guy yourself. Um, he's My dad's probably going to paint this guy. And I'll probably post that on my Instagram, by the way. Rather the nerd on Instagram. Link's in the description. And he does have... And as you can see, since it's imaginary, you have a really tiny... Damn, that's so tiny you can't even see that. 
on the actual hand itself. Come on, focus. Um, but on the hand, can you focus for two seconds? It's so tiny you can't even see it. But anyway, there you go. You can kind of see that that is a really tiny um, thumb uh, on their on its on on the T Rex's hand. So yeah, it is imaginary. So you know, can't recently discover bones that haven't been discovered yet. So it's not fully completed, and you can see inside the skull as well. Very awesome. This review is basically just looking at all the different details. It's not like you know any review that I have. Um, so yeah, not much to talk about this guy. Uh, well, the sculpting on the actual bones, I just realized, but the sculpting on the bones is really nice as well. Really love the sculpt on this guy as well. The bones are excellent. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this kit. I hope Bandai does um, some more uh, d dinosaur skeletons like this one. I hope they do a um, Triceratops or maybe even a Velociraptor. Or maybe just any other dinosaur. I don't care. I would love to have it. And this guy looks really next to my T-Rex diorama set. So that's pretty much it for the, for this review, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is. So, bye, guys.